ain't all right The hardness of my head Now close your eyes Hello and welcome to Bo Hannum Guitars and Ukuleles. My name is Bo Hannum and now I know you really want to see Eddie Vedder's performance that he gave to President Carter and a massive thanks to the Vitality Foundation for releasing this footage to me to be shown here for the very first time ever to anyone. The foundation is a non-profit organization founded by Pearl Jam and it translates the ethos of their music into tangible and positive impacts. So before we get started with the performance, I think it's beneficial to hear a brief story of how this project was born. Uh, and we'll give a few minutes to outline why Eddie Vedder took part in all of this. So for that, we have to go back to 1979 when uh, President Jimmy Carter put 32 solar panels on the roof of the White House and they heated water for parts of the people's house for the next seven years. These solar panels were symbols of Carter's faith in the power of the sun and in sustainability. Now, sustainability was never a hippie dream any more than self-sufficiency was to homesteaders throughout history. And indeed, sustainability self-sufficiency and homesteading they're all exactly the same thing we must adjust to changing times and still hold to unchanging principles now skipping ahead to 2002 president carter stayed true to what he started in 79 with the solar panels and he planted 15 acres of a non-invasive variety of polonia on his estate in plains georgia and this was carter's experiment in sustainable timber production and Palaunia is a remarkable resource. Firstly, Palaunia is suitable for housing construction as it's 30% stronger than pine. It doesn't warp, twist or crack and it's naturally water and fire resistant. It can also be used for furniture and packing and musical instruments and has been used for these things in Japan for centuries. Secondly, the Palaunia tree is excellent at combating air pollution and it's huge 50 to 70 centimeter leaves absorb 10 times more CO2 than any other tree species. <laughs> now that itself is astounding, but it has two more amazing properties. Palaunia is also capable of growing in soil where other trees can't survive because of soil pollution and heavy metals and other harmful substances. And just like it does with the air, it absorbs the soil pollutants and renews the contaminated soil and transforms it back into healthy, usable soil. And lastly, these trees reach full maturity in only 10 to 12 years, and they can be harvested and regrown from their stumps up to seven times. So skipping ahead to 2017, Carter's trees were harvested and a handful of luthiers were asked if they would be interested in making instruments from Carter's plenty wood. And I was lucky enough to be asked. So the original plan for this project was for the luthiers to make the instruments and present them to President Carter on his 96th birthday. It was all to climax with a large charity event in Plains, Georgia, his hometown, where the instruments would be played on stage by famous musicians and signed by Carter and auctioned with all their proceeds being donated to Willie Nelson's Farm Aid. Great shirts. And uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Georgia. Both these charities mean a lot to President Carter. Farm Aid promotes sustainable agricultural practices like maintaining high quality food, soil and water. And they also operate a disaster fund to support farmers who uh, lost their crops and belongings through natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina. The Boys and Girls Club of Georgia, they provide a variety of out of school youth programs and development, character development programs to over almost 80,000 kids in Georgia and they have many chapters throughout the US. Previously we'd given a wish list of names uh, of those we would like, if at all possible, to play the Polani instruments we made at the original charity auction benefit. And Eddie Vedder was at the top of my list, of course. So <laughs> being a part of this project was a no-brainer for us luthiers who create our instruments from woods 
that are often threatened by non-sustainable logging and farming practices like are found in the Amazon and Madagascar rainforests. So that was the plan. And then COVID hit. While the world reeled with the new norm, as it was called back then, us luthiers worked away on the instruments, not really knowing what would come of this project. So as horrible as isolated life was in 2020 for everyone, not being able to hug loved ones or even give them the funeral that they deserved, this project became more important to me as kind of a symbol of, of good and of hope, both of which felt missing in parts of 2020 for everyone. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, but sometimes it's night outside and the light is temporarily not perceivable. And you just have to wait till dawn or you might emerge out of the tunnel, so to speak, without realizing it. And then you only realize it when you see the glow of the sunrise around you and you know it's gonna be all right. And that's what this project felt to me as time went on during 2020. Now, the auction did happen, <laughs> finally. Uh, but you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to see how much this uke sold for. Sorry, it's, you know, YouTube. <laughs> now, the song that Eddie played for President Carter was watched by the president on his 96th birthday in October of 2020. And the recording you're about to see is this exactly the same one that the president saw. Eddie chose to play for the president the song Smile, which was written by Charlie Chaplin in 1936, I think. And the reason he chose this song was, well, I'll just stop and let Eddie tell you in his own words. All right, hello, it's Eddie Vedder. I'm in the Pacific Northwest. I'm outside. I think you might be able to hear the rain and the Puget Sounds right behind me here. Um, well, in front of me, <laughs> behind you. Um, it's a rainy, cloudy, classic Seattle day, but I'm, I'm thinking about you down there. So uh, greetings and wishes from the Pacific Northwest to the other side of our great country, trying to be great country, uh, down to the Southeast. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm playing this beautiful, beautiful instrument and uh, made out of sustainable wood by a, a great luthier named Bo. And um, I'm, I'm even more grateful not just to be playing this instrument, but, but who I'm playing it for and such a special occasion. Um, Mr. President, so much deep respect um, and admiration for you. Um, and, and I'm gonna play a song for three reasons. One, because I think you'll know it. Two, uh, it is a song of hope and resilience to hopefully help us out in dark times. And three of all your many, many accomplishments, achievements of all your contributions, which are, have been limitless. And, you know, th these are all parts of your legacy, but, but so is something that, um, so is something that's part of this song. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about, but um, but what a what a great legacy that is. Happy birthday. Smile though your heart is aching. Smile even though it's 
it's breaking when there are clouds in the sky you'll get by if you smile through your fear and sorrow smile and maybe tomorrow you'll see the sun shining through Light up your face with gladness Hide every trace of sadness Although a tear may be ever so near That's the time you must keep on trying Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile Time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. All right, again. Happy birthday, Jimmy, Roslyn, we love you. Okay, uh, here's to someone who can really play this thing. Uh, Jake, Jake Shimabukuru. Jake, take it away. So the part at the end where Eddie mentions Jake Shimabukuru, that was because a lot of performances of the various plenty instruments and other salutations were mosaic together uh, into one sort of DVD to show to the President Carter. And I thought it'd be interesting to VEDA fans to leave the start and the out part in. And actually I didn't edit any of it. Uh, I did think about editing out some of the rain noise but it was Seattle after all, and I thought I might be struck by lightning if I edit out the rain. <laughs> so a part, uh, well, some parts of the uke that helped in the sale, uh, Eddie drew a wave on the front of the uke and signed his name below it. And on the back he wrote, a most beautiful instrument played in honor of a wonderful man. Eddie also wrote a really warm and encouraging letter to me, which was really nice to receive. Although I must admit, my first impression was frustration because I realized that his calligraphy is uh, far more beautiful than mine. <laughs> he likes handwriting and so do I. Uh, so <laughs> a special shout out to the other luthiers who were involved in this project. Jake McClay, good mate of mine from West Virginia, and his uke was played by Jake Shimabukuru the guy that Eddie mentions at the end of his video. And Jake Shimabukuru performed Ave Maria on Jake's uke. There's too many Jakes in this sentence. <laughs> uh, Jason Costell, another mate of mine from Phoenix, Arizona, and Drew Heinonen, I don't know how you pronounce Drew's name, but their guitars were played by the Indigo Girls and they played John Lennon's Imagine. Now, Jason, he's a graduate of the United States Military Academy, West Point, and an Army veteran. And so his involvement with Carter, who is a Naval Academy graduate and Navy veteran, was really special to him. So much so that the inlays on the back of Jason's guitar are actually Morse code. And they do say something, but uh, I won't tell you what they mean. You can look it up. But I, I am kicking myself for not thinking of that angle. <laughs> 
Bernie Funston, he made two mandolins and they were played by the incredible Sierra Hull and she performed one of her own songs on both of them. I actually made a second instrument for this project and it was a 14 fret to the body double O guitar and it was played by Duff McKagan of Guns N' Roses which was pretty amazing. I saw them on the Use Your Illusion tour in Sydney back in the 90s sometime. And what was even more amazing, on rhythm guitar he had Jerry Cantrell of Alice in Chains so, like, double amazing, really. They perform one of my favourite classic songs, Satisfied Mind, which you might know from Jeff Buckley's album Grace. And as amazing as Buckley's cut is on that, it's also been recorded by just timeless people like Porter Wagner and Ella Fitzgerald, The Birds, Joan Baez, Lucinda Williams, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, and some guy called Bob Dylan. Also, Relish Guitars from Switzerland, they made a couple of electric guitars. And lastly, my guitar was then sent to Christian Bush from Sugarland. So on behalf of all the luthiers involved in this project, I want to thank you to all the musicians who gave their voice to this. And finally, we come to the auction. Now, thanks to Eddie Vedder's involvement and President Carter's legacy of a movement over decades towards sustainability, the Uke sold at auction for $21,250. And uh, all the proceeds going to Farm Aid and the Boys and Girls Club of Georgia Charities. And that, my friends, is how you make America great again. Yeah, sorry, I, I couldn't help myself, I had to say it. <laughs> uh, so, thanks again to Eddie Vedder for playing my uke and to the Vitality Foundation for letting me show this footage to you for the first time. If you have any questions or thoughts about anything you've seen or heard here uh, or anything about the ukulele, uh, leave a comment below and like and subscribe and all the usual YouTube-y things. Uh, a big shout out to Farm Aid and to any other charity who would work in their butts off to try and make the world a better place. You, uh, you're all amazing and I hope that your future is bright. So thank you so much and see you next time. I'm Bo and it was a pleasure. Bye. Ain't all right the hardness of my head Close your eyes, spin around, say part time. You could find a ain't the way that you want. But it's still alright. Late at night, you lay around on the rim. Counting all the lines, it ain't so funny now. Say, times are hard to get this far, but it ain't the way that you want. I'll be damned if this old man don't start to count his losses. But it's still alright. Learn a lot out there How to scorch and burn you Only have to bury your friends And then you find it gets worse Standing out on a ledge With no way to get down Start praying for wings to grow Oh baby, just let go
cold outside When I hit the ground Say, I can sleep here Forget all the fear It would take time to grow Maybe I don't know Eighty-nine If you think about ya Remembering all the times That you pointed out Say, glass is clear But all this fear Starts at leaving the mark Idle hands are all that stands from your time in the dark. But it's still alright.